Hello to my Scorpios. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. Let's get into it, Scorpios. Let's see what's in your car. Sending a positive energy your way this week. All right. This video is for the 18th through the 25th of November. Let's get into it. Let's get woo, let's get right into this card. These cards want to jump out the deck. Okay. So yeah, something is something has ended. Something is complete. Something has been fulfilled. You're leaving behind a. You're leaving behind distractions. You're leaving behind distractions. So good for you. Good for you. Anything that was distracting you before, you're leaving it behind. All right. You're setting some boundaries and enforcing those boundaries, right? So source needs you to start seeing some things from a higher frequency. Really, really learning how to see things from a higher frequency. All right. This is a temperance card. See things from a higher frequency. And Source is giving you some time. You have a guardian angel that's watching over you. But Source needs you to see some things from a higher frequency. And how sometimes you're being used as a pawn. You're being used as a pawn in the game. And don't even realize it sometimes, right? So a new beginning for you, right? So how somebody can be used as a pawn in the game is just through arguing with people. Really just arguing with people. Um... And don't even realize what's happening. Don't even don't even have a clue as to what's going on. You're standing there arguing with people. You know, so some kind of a new you get manifested, it's a new manifestation is happening here. Right? New manifestation um, of um, new money is coming across your path, or something of value to you is coming across your path. But yeah. You're not getting into any arguments with anybody anymore, right? Especially when they're determined to argue with you. So source is saying, adjust your crown. Your um and I'm talking to you wherever wherever um Scorpio is in your birth chart. So it looks like there was two energies that were just really just determined. Two energies that were just determined. Right? Here's the two pentacles here. Yep. So source is letting you know like some energies really want to get into some kind of like um, they're being like I said being used as a pawn to kind of sort of really find out what team you're on. Really, people just want to know what team you're on, right? And instead of looking at is this like the human team, <laughs> like the the human being team, right? Just the human race team. Um, some energies are just determined basically to, to create some kind of wedge in some kind of um, competition. So from now on, somebody is looking back in hindsight now that something is over. Somebody is just trying to now decide, okay, I need to start thinking in terms of human being, the end. What do I have in common with people? Not judging, competing, comparing, all of that frequency. Somebody going to start thinking frequencies now. Just really start thinking frequency. What do I have in common with people? Here we have the five of um, pentacles here. And so what somebody may have in common with people is just like sort of like feeling like only people only deal with you when they need something from you. That's what you're going to start. Somebody's brains are going to start thinking like, oh, my God, like what? What? You know, that's what something something's going to hit somebody like a thunderbolt. It's like there are some people who only deal with you when they want something from you they only come around certain family members only come around or certain friends only come around there's certain businesses that don't want to have any they don't they don't they don't support your business and let you support them you don't hear anything from them it's just sources saying to you they can know you have a business they won't support your business won't tell anybody about your business unless you're supporting them so it's saying somebody is about to wake up and start looking at what do i have in common with people that is what somebody is really learning is that is how there's still so much breakdown in communication. I'll just put it that way. There's so much there's so much confusion is still going on. People can't even see it right in their face. But looking on social media, still can't even see it. I'm like, Lord have mercy. But so the five of swords here, somebody looking back in hindsight is gonna be like, Man, it's so much bigger then you realize like when you don't find out what you have in common with other human beings somebody again the five of pentacles here is like people only coming to you when they want something from you of that's of value to them 
ding it's like a bell is gonna go off in somebody's brain like okay i gotta get it together like okay when I'm around people who only want something from me when it's a value to them i gotta know my worth and my value i i, I have to know my own worth and my own value so that would be a great time this week for you to learn about that especially during the holiday season some of your family members you know when you look back you're gonna think man they don't even call you unless it's a seat filler that so oh look at all these people at the house for the picture and there you are again every the 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 old faithful <laughs> right you're the faithful one showing up every single time right so um or like I said, what's the value to them? But you don't see what's behind it. That's what somebody's like. It can come across as something that's innocent. But sources say saying, it, you got to see what's behind it. What is behind it? So something has been fulfilled. You went on this journey. There was a lot of distractions, right? But something has been fulfilled. And so now somebody is awakened, right? So yeah, now. And so source had to give you some time. Put your guardian angel in place. Give you some time to figure some things out. And that's okay. That is okay. You've learned how to heal yourself on this journey. You've learned how to heal yourself on this journey. You've learned you've gotten stronger on this journey. That's what you're gonna start. That's what you're gonna start having in common with people. And it's not trauma bonding. It's really just like, wow, you're starting to understand. In normal circumstances, certain people would not deal with you. And I'm talking to everybody who is tuned in. Certain people would not have anything to do with you if they if it was not. Of benefit to them in some way, shape, form, or fashion. So if you don't know your worth, then know your value. So here we have the Wheel of Fortune. So two situations for you. Like I said before, you're going to feel very fortunate. You're going to feel very, very fortunate. Because now you're saying, now that you know your worth and you know your value, that's what's yeah, really, like, in hindsight, you know your worth and you know your value. Certain, certain, somebody's going to now say, you get it, you understand what a pick-me spirit feels like. For whatever reason, some kind of emotional wounding started. Five of Pentacles, or just Pentacles in general, root chakra, is developed between the ages of zero through seven. So, this started in someone's family of like not knowing their worth and their value they could have been rejected by somebody somebody could have told them some lies about something it could have been anything you know that they just did not know certain things right that thing could be generational um these both of these planets right here are generational something could have been generational that they did not know but it took some time for somebody to figure some stuff out and so source is saying, but it's you're you're starting to connect the dots now. Somebody is starting to make something make sense. It's like when you're dealing with energies, when you encounter energies that's like that, and you're like, okay, oh, somebody just want to be somebody else, or they they just want to um they um they just want to be a part of such and such and such and such. Something in your spirit now is going to recognize and just like what you have in common with other human beings all human beings want to be a part of something all human being wants to be a part of something that's what it lowers it takes you from like air and then the second row right here is pentacles this third row is fire it's going to take you out of that comp i'm so determined to compete compare it's going to take somebody out of that like that's going to drop it down it's going to put you right in a heart space like i need to clean my heart chakra I need to find out what I have in common with people versus I got to it, it's, it's judge. That's what the fire energy is. Judge, compete, compare, all of this other stuff. I need to go to the root of something. I need to go to the root of something. So, And congratulations again to somebody who got a job working with children and families and things like that. So this is going to be perfect for you. This is going to be perfect for you. Everybody's not lying about everything. So here we have the Six of Cups. So somebody's cutting ties with um, somebody's definitely cutting ties with something that you're moving on in childlike faith. Yeah, you're moving on in childlike faith, right? But you're going back to your your childhood memories just through your childhood lens. Like you're somebody's cutting ties with this um, 
getting mad and like you know coming across as hostile and angry and frustrated and all somebody's getting rid of all of that somebody's getting rid of all of that right so the six of cups puts us in scorpio right so somebody is cutting ties with the unhealthy and wounded whatever you've been holding on to um from just your own childhood of maybe being feeling like you're left out of your chiron like your your emotional wounds from your own childhood because that's what somebody could have in common with somebody else. But somebody was not connecting the dots there. So somebody was not connecting the dots there. So source is saying everybody has an inner child. Everybody has an inner child. But somebody went right straight to that person is a dark entity. They're dark spirit. They're this and that. They just want to be something else. All it is. So it's like that is not the case. If somebody has been told certain things. Somebody has been told certain things from their childhood or, or, you know, in some way. In some families, I'm telling y'all, a lot of families are still finding out things. Generational stuff. So, so it's just saying, when you look back, here we have the page of pentacles. You're going to feel like you have a whole new lease on life. Um... There is this book. And this book is really, really good. Um, let me see. put the title of the book under the title of this book in this, as it refers to this reading as it relates to this reading excuse me because I'm looking at this five of pentacles here and when people start to make the when people start making like the comments about people oh they want to be something that they're not or they just a pick me spirit they just they just want to be a part of every, anything they just want to be a part of such a when that kind of gossip and trash talking starts coming out of people's mouth without knowing a backstory, Source is trying to help somebody to go back in your own mind and through your own childhood, your own childhood memories, and start to say, somebody said the same thing about you. Somebody said the exact same thing about you. It's mirroring something else. And somebody treated you like you were an outsider. That's what Source needs you to somebody said the exact same thing about you but because you all are Scorpio and because emotionally you can handle like everything with you all is intense the beginning and the end of something everything is intense with you all for some people um, they handle things a little differently even in different another Scorpio could handle something differently as you're closing things out and so it's just saying you're going to feel very fortunate that you had a guardian angel watching over you during this time, um, helping you to have a whole new lease on life altogether. That's what you're going to start connecting with when it comes to other people, Scorpios. And that's what you're going to learn. It's like, you know, before you start talking about, oh, somebody just want to be a part of something. They just, they don't know who they are, blah, 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 whatever. Somebody said the exact, that's why I know that because of this water card right here. Somebody said the exact same thing about you. The exact same thing about you. And, and to take it to the next level, they were determined to judge you, compare you to other people, how you look, your skin color, your height. Your hair texture, your physical appearance, and I know that because we got too many, we got a lot of pentacles cards out here. They were determined to come to, to compare, very much like somebody felt in their family, very much. Right. So all it took was for somebody to be an open book, an open book. Right. So from now on, looking at your cards here, I see you being an open book about like just knowledge and learning is like helping people to grow. That's why somebody's going to feel like they have a whole new lease on life. I feel like you're going to be an um, open book about things that you're learning. And this is going to be a great week for a lot of people to learn a lot of new 
whatever it is, whatever you're learning how to do, journal, write a book, whatever you're learning how to do, you learn how to heal yourself, but you'd be surprised at how many, um, you know, how many families are out of balance. Here we have the two of pentacles here. Right? A lot of energies are masking pain. So here we have the nine of swords. So I feel like now somebody's going to stop talking about something. Somebody's going to just stop talking about something altogether. Because again, if this, I'm trying to remember the name of the book. There's a, um, give me one second. So the name of this book that I was telling you about, Scorpio, is uh, called Adult Survivors of Toxic Family Members. You know, um, tools to maintain boundaries, deal with criticism, and heal from shame after um, ties have been cut. And what I was about to say about the Five of Pentacles we need to make some more space. But what I was about to say about the Five of Pentacles is absolutely an entire family can be behind something. An entire family can be behind something that could cause people a nightmare, right? When they wake up from a nightmare, you know, just like I said, it could be a complete and total imbalance, right? So I see somebody finally, you know, like making the connection there. That's what I see somebody making the connection. You have a lot of ideas. You're waking up from your own nightmares about um, people basically saying that you have a pick me spirit, that you just want to be a part of something. There's an imbalance in you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. So you have a whole new lease on life yourself, right? And people would determine. Here we have the six of um, swords. And some people, they just, some people, they wake up. They stop talking to certain people and they just move on with their lives. They just, they move on with their life. They just move on. They just get away from shady people. And uh, some, uh, you know, after being, you know, being open. But anyway, so here's a full card. So you're moving on. You're moving on beyond some situations where you feel like you're closing out cycles where you may have felt like you may have been in survival mode. But people may have thought you were lying about something. You're moving on from that. And they were determined to prove that you were lying about something. Here's the world card. Y'all see me shuffling the cards. Two situations are closed out. Yeah, people were determined to say that you were lying about something. But really, it could just been, like I said, a whole lot of things behind it. A whole lot. In your innocence, it was something else going on behind the scenes. It was a lot of something else going on behind something. So... That's what I see looking at your cards here, you know, as you move forward and the more time you start investing in energies and just seeing where the imbalance is instead of looking at it from a critical judgmental standpoint, because I know your rolling planet, one of your rolling planets is uh, Pluto. I see now you're going to start looking at things from a non-judgmental space and looking at it from what do you have in common with somebody? You're like, okay, what do I have in common? Okay, I know what that feels like. When um, people try to accuse you of being hostile, angry, or frustrated, or like you just want to be a part of something, anything, you just want to be a part of something, you know what that feels like. So something has definitely pushed somebody to the throne. Something has definitely pushed you to the throne, to your throne, right? I see you being able to defend your decision to move on from something without even coming across as defensive. I see you just moving on from something, right? Yeah. Whatever anxiety you may have been having about situations will be going away. Two situations in particular will be going away very, very soon, right? I see you being free. I see you being free, right? Back in the saddle again, getting some rest, finally getting some rest. Finally getting some rest. Yep. <clears throat> so I don't know what this what the situation is here, looking at your cards here, but um, I definitely see you um, cutting ties with anything or anyone who um, that you may something you may have been holding on to that um did not clear the air for you just like did not offer clarity to you like just let you believe something whoever i don't know who i'm talking to 
that could somebody could have just let you believe just let you go through life believing something didn't clear the air didn't say anything just kind of sat there it could like i said it could be family members i mean that that book is really really good for those of you all who <clears throat> i know it's not on the table but adult survivors of toxic family members it is so good because it talks about and the, the author of the um book who's a phd she actually um speaks of it from just like her own personal experience of just like how an entire family can be behind something and you know it's like you, you don't have some people just don't have a choice but to go in with that sword and just cut people off they don't have a choice so much shade going on he don't even have a choice can't get the can't get the truth out of people to say their life can't get a clear I can't get a clear fresh air answer out of anything so so here was the temperance card so you have two guardian angels watching over you protecting you you got two guardian angels watching over you, protecting you, helping you to move through um, some things, right? So I see you celebrating something. Somebody could have new love in their lives or maybe some kind of homecoming going on or something going on here. But I see you taking a leap of faith. Um, I see you finally getting some rest. I see you kind of sort of going back through your own childhood memories. Nostalgic. Going back through some childhood memories. Here we have the six of wands here. Yeah. And I see you being booked and busy, not burdened at all. But I don't see you going backwards to any arguments with anybody over anything that a whole family could be behind. Like it could be your family or somebody else's family could be behind something that kept the confu kept some confusion going on. It's a whole it's a whole situation going on here. Right? Of character assassination. So. So I don't know who that is for. But I definitely feel like somebody is. Like I said before. Is. Um, moving on. But some energies are definitely trying to. They were determined. All this competing. Comparing. Not trying to look for what you have in common with people. Who I don't know who this was was competing and comparing with you um but so it's time to do a solar plexus chakra cleanse follow your heart listen to your intuition get some fresh air there it is but don't cast your pearls before energies that you know just want to appreciate it especially when you're on some kind of a discovery of something and you may be an open book and talking to energies about things and you just don't know you know you, you just don't know you know who they're talking to how hurt they are all this but their plan to disrupt your money backfired. So the new one is extra special. Your peace is paramount. So somebody could have been um, talking to um, who, whoever. I don't know who you were talking to. Somebody that you're allowed to get that close to your heart. But you have the gift of clairvoyance. You're seeing things clearly now. But you deserve the best. At what age did your parents work on their shadow self? And at what age did you work on your shadow self? One yes from God was all you needed. But the gift of clairsentience. You pick up on others' vibrations, their emotions, their moods, their feelings. But I see you being booked and busy, like I said here in the cards here. And so Source really wants you to adjust your crown. Don't give yourselves a headache about it. But the answers that you seek are coming. Your ancestors have a message. What is the message? They said dance around your home as if no one is watching. They said dance around your home as if no one is watching. As if no one is watching. Yeah, that is an excellent book for people who have just made a decision to walk away from energies who have just assassinated your character, loved ones who have just assassinated your character, who just feel like you just, have, you just don't have a choice. So just only take what resonates with you. If it doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't. Don't create something that's not there. But some people really don't have a choice. They don't. Some people really don't have a choice. And um here we have humility. Allow me, divine, to always accept the right assistance. I welcome your help in every way and delight in receiving it. Mm -hmm. So that's what you're going to start saying in common with some people. It's like maybe it's not your family, but maybe it could be like a job. You feel like you just had no choice but to walk away from the job because it's like you let these people in. You know, you let them get this close. And what they do, assassinate your character. You hurt. Maybe it was a, a love interest you dated. 
you let them in, they did nothing but assassinate your character. Source is trying to help somebody learn how to see what you have in common with other human beings. Affirmations for abundance. I'm creating generational wealth for my family. The money I desire is mine. I've now received it with excitement. The more I give, the more I receive. There it is. That's right. The more you give, the more you receive. So, yeah, something is, um, something is, like I said, you got money coming across your path. So as I say, you're kind of going back through your own childhood memories. Somebody is going to stop, you know, the conversations, the negative conversations about people joining in assassination character about people, all of that out the window, out the window, the gossip, all of that about why people moved on, all of that going out the window. Yeah. Anything is going to be a conversation of compassion compassion you're sitting on your throne carefully vetting your thoughts if it's not something kind about because you don't know who's listening who's, who's hearing this right you can be grateful that something is behind you a lot of your wishes are about to be fulfilled because what you what you've been putting in is what you're going to get back in all of your relationships so somebody does have new love coming across their path and that's what source is trying to tell you is that you're back in the saddle again but what you put into that relationship is what you're going to get back out of it because that energy did not fall off the back of a turnip truck. And they got family members that's still trying to figure some stuff out themselves, right? So if you go into it and not seeing what you have in common with other human beings, and it's coming in, somebody's lying, they're not telling the truth, and oh, we don't believe, a whole entire family can be behind something. And people just don't see it. Like somebody got to write a book that has a PhD, like for real, for some people that believe it. So... Yep, here we have the, um, so source is saying, I see you sitting on your throne, you know, with other energies, helping people just to inspire you. Your motivation has changed. Something about your motivation has changed. Now that you're leaving behind a lot of distractions, your motivation has changed. That is what I have for you. Um, let's see what we have a, um, number here. A lot of people are waking up into a whole lot of things that they don't believe until they physically see something with their own eyes. And all of a sudden, people are like, oh, okay, too arrogant. You know, sometimes people just, they don't, they won't say, oh, I, I miss, you know, miscalculated, miss whatever. So here we have 24, I am generous. You have a heart of gold and you're very skilled at maintaining balanced, stable relationships. You are loyal to your loved ones and you're able to be the nurturer, protector, and provider all at once. Yep. So... So it's saying when you look back, when you look back, when you've been an open book around energies, it it produced a nightmare for you to a point where people were shady, thought, said that you wanted to be a part of something. You had a pick me spirit, all of that until you decided to move on until you finally decided to move on. So it's just saying extend other people the same grace. Some people have complete nervous breakdowns. Because they have been wired to stay in situations. So as emotionally the most the, the emotionally brilliant sign that you all are, Scorpios, Source wants you all to extend grace because it can absolutely be an entire family behind stuff. An entire family behind something. Some people they, they sit in stuff for years before they move on. And you don't know what other people, some people could be bullied into staying into stuff, whatever. So, um, but like I said, I say, I see before here, your wishes being fulfilled. When you kind of go back in your mind, your childhood too. take time to breathe out. And I see you moving on forward in humility. That's what I have for you. Thank you for joining me. Make it an amazing week. Like I said, I feel like somebody's going to be cracking open some books and learning some new things about yourself head and heart matters the head and heart can be real tricky we talk about the heart chakra so maybe it's time to get some pink and green stones to really really get that head and heart chakra in alignment that's what i have for you i'll see you all in the next video bye